Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, I'm Walter Curioso. I'm a medical doctor from Peru. And I will talk today about the Peruvian approach against the COVID-19 infodemic. Uh, Peru is a multicultural and diverse country in Latin America that is facing a tremendous burden from the COVID-19 pandemic, and it's among the top 15 countries in the world in reported COVID cases, and it's the top five in Latin America. The COVID-19 crisis is reported to cause many problems as people's work and normal life are disrupted, causing an unprecedented impact on mental health. This disruption has been accompanied by an infodemic of fake news, as reported by the World Health Organization on February 15, 2020. The fight against the infodemic is a real challenge, and it spreads very quickly on social media. Unproven prescription drugs have been falsely promoted uh, for the COVID prevention and treatment. For example, Caretas, a very popular magazine in Peru highlighted ivermectin as a potential treatment on his front page, which alerted the scientific and medical community because it promoted self-medication. Which are the possible cause for the infodemic? Well, in part, the low health literacy and free time. In a population with a low literacy rate, increased ability of free time as a result of the COVID-19 lockdown might have contributed to the, to the infodemic. And reports show that a rumor has a three times greater chance to be shared on social media than a verified story. And the lack of health literacy is different among groups that will have the capability to amplify the problem. This figure shows a decision tree on how to address a COVID-19 online post based from the results of a paper by researchers from the University of Washington in Seattle. The general recommendation is to look for alerts, including the length of the post, the extent of engagement, look for advertisements, and its relevance to the reader. The seven tips to identify misinformation or disinformation by the WHO is a good start. The only information one should share is information that has been investigated and is understood by the reader. So which have been the Peruvian government response against the COVID-19 infodemic? So we present here two of the most relevant fake news items that were denied by the Peruvian government using official social media. So the first one is the death forecast. 125,000 people could die in Peru. And this is dated from March 19, 2020. This was a personal commentary, but a very well news reported in Peru, and it was rapidly shared on social media. His forecast was based on the number of confirmed cases during the first 10 days of the pandemic, an exponential increase and a worst case scenario with absence of social isolation. However, Peru had already implemented strict social isolation measures and a nationwide lockdown. The forecast raised alarm in the population at what's wrong. And as the death toll as of May 25, 2020, Peru was 3,629 deaths, and by October 29 was 34,300 deaths. And this is the second one. When the president of Peru, Martin Vizcarra, did not host his daily press conference, it started a rumor that he was very sick and hospitalized because of the COVID-19. That was dated March 29th of this year. After that, this was denied by the Ministry of Health via its Twitter account the same day. And on May 29, during his press conference, the president, Martin Vizcarra, informed to stop those ongoing rumors because he was tested and his result was negative. Now, we will describe some implemented strategies in Peru against the COVID-19 infodemic. 
The reported fake news in March were summarized by the hand, handbook COVID-19 of Peru website. This is similar in concept to other international websites and portals such as Salud Sin Bulos from Spain and Salud Con Lupa in Peru and others which have been so far been able to identify more than 500 global hoaxes related to COVID-19. In the next slide, we are showing a screenshot of the portal Salud with Con Lupa, which display all the medicines that have been discussed on social media, and it highlights those that are scientifically proven based on evidence-based medicine. So this is a quick and easy way to recognize which medicine works and which don't. On April 8th, the Ministry of Justice and Human Rights of Peru published on his social media account that persons who share fake news and misinform others to obtain a benefit of to disturb the public can be sanctioned with a prison sentence. The ministry urged people to share only official information with the hashtag don't spread fake news. It further indicates that those who create or who share false information to benefit themselves or cause perjury to others will receive a two to four year prison sentence. And if the fake news causes panic and perturbs the public tranquility, the sentence might be three to six years. In this sense, Peru became the first country in Latin America to implement prison sentences for creating and disseminating fake news. This measure was widely applauded and it's appeared to result in a dramatic drop in fake news accounts. The term fake news was again mentioned in Peru only on May 19, when the president announced that to deny rumors, he was sentenced for COVID-19. Other institutions in Peru are also working to combat the COVID-19. And this is an example of the Peruvian College of Physicians through their special portal entitled Informed Citizen. With infographics, they inform the general public about the, the benefits and the risks of sharing uh, fake news. Other institutions, such as the Pan American Health Organization Office in Peru, has also promoted webinars related to fake news during the COVID-19 pandemic. Finally, much of the information that I shared today in this presentation is based on an article recently published at the American Journal of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene, which uh, I invite you to read the full paper. In conclusion, COVID-19 has highlighted the need to target infodemics that can be as dangerous as an actual epidemic. It is a multifactorial fight because we will need to increase health literacy in the population, establish a stronger presence of national health agency in social media, develop and implement better decision tools and enable multi-sectorial action by governments as Peru has implemented, not only with the participation of the Minister of Health and the Minister of Justice, for example, with the implementation of prison sentence for persons who created and shared fake news, but also with the participation of the social, the social society and academia and private organization. More research should go in the use of artificial intelligence to better respond to the increasing spread of fake news via social media. However, we all need to remember that it is in our hands to share or to not share before truly verifying such information. We believe that similar actions by other countries in collaboration with social media companies may offer a solution to the infodemic problem. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias.